So here we are on the invitation screen. You can see that we have the 59 invitations that were created for us automatically when we did the contact import. You can see that all of them have a type of online invitation and there's also the other type of paper invitation which has been done for centuries now of when you send out a, a paper invitation and you go to the mailbox and deliver it and have it come back a couple days later that's been the process done for years but with I do we're trying to do something uh, different and, and revolutionary in that you can send out an invitation and it will be tailor-made for that particular family and then they'll be able to respond in RSVP and select their meal choice and uh, send you a note directly from their phone or their tablet or their computer and it would go directly into your database so it's not like an email that you receive and you then have to enter it in when you send it out it will be directed to your website and that website will have your invitation and it will also have the ability for them to RSVP so that is what an online invitation does. It's very powerful and it's very cool and exciting and we're very ex uh, excited to include that in this release. That's the power of the cloud for this I do release. So one thing before we get into a true example of how to do that whole loop of sending the invitation and receiving it, let's first just look at this and, and let's edit it a little bit. Here you can see uh, for this invitation, you can see how many people are applied to each invitation. Here you can see that it was sort of done out of order, so we can click this and edit it. And let's move Mr. Arthur Andrews to the top, so we'll go like that. So he will be the, the main contact, and we'll make the missus the second contact, and then the daughter will be the third. It's an on online invitation. We can make it a paper invitation if we so choose. And this will be the outer envelope wording, Mr. and Mrs. Arthur Andrews. The software figures all you know, the correct wording for you. And this is the inner envelope wording. You can override it at any time. And you can change the RSVP ID. The RSVP ID is helpful for paper invitations because when you send it out you're supposed to put this number on the back of the RSVP and when it's sent back to you you then know that RSVP ID 4 is the Andrews family but we're gonna make this the new state-of-the-art online invitation and it will use Arthur Andrews email address so we'll do that so we'll save that so now you can see this is looking appropriate what we'll do now is actually add one manually so that we did that automatically with the import. Let's click on new to do a new manual invitation, which is what might happen a uh, large part of the time. So let's click on new. We have a new invitation screen here and it says no names on this invitation. Click add names to get started. So we'll do that. And here we have everybody that is not yet associated with an invitation. So let's do this John and Sally Doe couple. We'll select both of them. We'll click Add Selected Names. That's that. You can see John Doe does not have an email. I can double click him here and just say John at Doe.com. I don't know if that exists, but we'll give that a go. And now this person is ready to receive their online invitation. So we'll click Save. We'll do another one here. Let's just do a new one. And let's do a person like this. Let's do Steven Stevens. We're going to add this person. Here, this is a contact that we personally know, but we're going to say Steven may bring a guest. So we're going to click on this, and this will actually add another contact to your contact list. And this person will always be tied to this person. So we're going to do that. We're going to leave. Uh, the email empty for now. We'll just hit save and we'll go like that. So if, let's do a quick look here and Steven Stevens is right here. So this Steven and the guest. So we're looking good. I'll clear that out. We'll do one of these just to be a manual good old fashioned paper invitation. We'll go like that. Hit save and this is what that one would look like. So we have statistics. We have online invitations and paper invitations.
We do feel as though since online invitations are relatively new, I would expect and hope that you would do maybe a percentage of your invitations as an online invitation. Let's say you have, in this example, we have 61 invitations, but let's say it gets up to 100 invitations just to make it a round number. If you did 30% of your invitations to the people that are uh, inclined to receive an invitation in that manner, you would be saving potentially a lot of money. Each invitation is about $7, you know, on, on average, I would assume, based on our information. And if you did 30 invitations, you would be saving about $210, or let's say $200. So if you do choose to send out invitations via online, not only will it be more efficient, quicker, faster, uh, it will also save you money. So there's a lot of benefits to doing this online invitation. So I hope that you try it out. So that's an overview of that information. Let's now go through the process of actually sending out an online invitation and seeing how the whole process will work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to that Steven Stevens. I edit it to have my email address, as you can see here. And if you do email invitation, we'll just do this one. It'll say meals are required. So the meals that you're going to be offering can be edited right here. You can say whether or not that guest must select a meal. It's possible that you are going to have a get, you know, gathering and you know, maybe there's going to be just cocktails served or there's going to be a buffet and they don't need to select anything. But for the wedding, for the most part, people do have meal choices. So let's put some in there. We'll do, uh, what do I have? I have an example halibut. Let's say that's... Uh, $70. I can add a photo. Where's our halibut? There it is. Make it nice and big. Delicious picture. We'll do save and new. Let's say I'm offering the lobster. Let's say that's $75. We'll add a photo there. That's this guy. Looks good. We'll do save and new. I'll do i uh, I'll just do a kid's meal. Let's say that's 50 bucks. So we have those things that we're offering, okay? And the guests now must select the meal. We are offering meals, so this is checked and you can't uncheck it. You can do a quick report here, and ultimately when people respond back with what choice they are, uh, you know, what meal they've chosen, the numbers will appear here and the total cost will appear here as well. So we got that cooking. So now the next thing is, if we select this person, Another requirement when you email an invitation is the website. So right now we're going to go on a little bit of a tangent into the website component. So let's do that. So to go into the website, a quick way to do it is just to hover over this right here. This little pages, mini pages thing appears and we can click on website. So for the website area, this is where you're going to be actually doing blog posts. It'll be like Tumblr or any blog that you visit. It. It's uh, a place for you to share information about your occasion, your event. You can share posts with you know text and pictures. You can do a quote if you have a quote that you enjoy or an image. We will go in depth about the website area later but for now let's do a quick post since it is required and we'll say welcome to our wedding website exclamation mark we are excited to share our big day with you I'll leave it at that again we'll be going into how to do posts when we uh, go into the website component later we will do a you know we'll dive deeper into this but for now we'll just do that you can see it's going to generate this HTML by just typing plain text you're going to get some nice HTML generated for you. I'll hit save and I'm going to do this view website just so you can see what happens here. Website will appear here and here is your website. So you can see this is your hero image and everything appears. Welcome to our wedding website. It looks real cool. We'll look at this in depth later. So we have that. So that's a requirement but another requirement is the invitation wording. 
So again, this is our we're here because we're talking about sending out an online invitation. So we need a post so the website's valid, and we also need to edit our invitation. This is the wording that we will be used using for our online invitation, and here we'll fill this out. I'm going to pause it and I'll fill it out real quick. Here it's filled out now, so it'll say Mr. and Mrs. Basil Bride it has the groom's name and all this wording can be changed. Basically to change it you would select this and you can say, oh let's do it's Bethany Ann. You can, you know, change the text however you want. If you say bold true, these names will be nice and strong on the website. So let's take a look at that. We'll do preview. And this is the way it will look on the website. So this is a pretty big screen. It's not huge right here, at least what I'm capturing on the screen. But uh, if you have a tablet, it'll look good on a tablet. And if you have a phone, it'll look good on a phone. So this is the way it will look on an iPhone or whatever device you have, a Windows 8 phone or an Android. So this is what that will look like. So we're done that. So let's get back now to our invitation. So we'll go like this. We'll close that. Go back here. So now we're ready to send out this. So Steven Stevens is ready to receive the invitation. We're going to click email. Select the name. We're going to email it here. One email invitation successfully sent. So the software sends it out, but it is sent by you. So let's take a look now at what the email looks like. So here we are in my inbox, and you can see that this would say who it's from. So it would be from you, and this is who it was to. I just happened to be logged in, so I sent it to myself. But we can see that this is a wedding invitation. It addresses Stephen Stevens. It says, please view your invitation in RSVP online. So they would click this. They would see the invitation wording that you created on any device. They'd click it, and then now here they are, and they're ready to... RSVP. They would see your picture of you and get to see information about you, when the wedding and the date is. So this is information for them and they are now they're able to RSVP. They'll say, yes, I'm going to be attending. I would like to halibut. He would enter in his guest name of Sally Sweet. She's going to be coming as well and she's going to have the lobster. They could enter in a note and say, very excited for your big day. Go like that. So they could do a little message right to you and they'll click Submit RSVP. Now when they do that, that went directly into your database and they get a nice message saying, you know, thank you for RSVPing. It was received. They can click Continue and get back into your website. So here, again, we'll talk about this later, but this is where you would say all the information about your wedding and talk about that later but let's go back now to our invitation page we will go back to our let's go back to the home screen just so you can see what happened now when you go here you'll see that hey there's this one here we have received an online invitation so you'll be able to click on this and view your RSVPs we'll do that and here it is Mr. Steven Stevens they responded Two people are attending, Sally Sweet, and they said, very excited for your big day. So immediately, we have a response, and it's that quick. You can send it out. If they have a device with them, they can click respond, and you'd get your feedback in seconds, and it was really no cost to you, and uh, we really do hope that you use this feature. This is very exciting, and we're extremely pumped about it. So that's a full loop of the online invitation.